It only took me four off-camera tries. She must have heard the, l the legend of the insistent wanderer and her persuasive capabilities. Anyway, guys, we have the hollow disk now. What great secrets does it contain? Let's find out. Oh, uh, as I may have explained, you will need to use this and then access the information for your pit boy. Thank you. Let's find out now. So, scroll down through our inventory. We have all these books that we need to read. Let's see a vault, a vault location disc. It weighs one pound. Let's go ahead and use it. Pit boy displays downloading data from disc. You gain 100 experience points. All right, we have 124 days left, guys. And data here, vault locations. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm gonna have to. I forgot how bit long this is. I'm gonna have to fucking. I just got done eating a damn brownie I made too. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Vault Locations, version 34.129. Vault Locations, version 34.129, Revision C, Western United States of America. Hello, and welcome to the latest edition of the Western United States Vault Location Pamphlet. We hope you enjoy the pamphlet, and remember, vaults are not just for the upwardly mobile, but for everyone. Vault 12. Under the sprawling metropolis of Bakersfield lies the technological magnificence of Vault 12, built with every amenity in mind for the prospective vault dweller. Vault 12 was given the Pressed Vault Suit Award for Attention to Preparedness. Buried far underground, the protection that vault dwellers will receive will be unprecedented. Much like all other vaults, Vault 12 has been fitted with the newest in water and vault water purification systems. Able to take even the waste located in the sewers of Bakersfield, this system is able to deliver over 15,000 gallons of pure, refreshing drinking water every day. Excuse me. Vault 13. Located in a scenic mountainous region northwest of Vault 12, this vault offers an endless supply of pure water to the inhabitants. The rumors that the water table in the area could easily be contaminated in the event of a nuclear war have been found by the Department of Water and Power to be completely unfounded. In the event that the water in the area were to become tainted remote, even though it may be, Vault 13 has been fitted with the, the government-approved Vault Water Purification System, rated to work without significant loss of output for over 250,000 hours. Prospective Vault Dwellers should have nothing to fear. Vault 15. Due east from Vault 13, construction on this vault has gone extremely smoothly. Excuse me. Much work was done to reinforce the walls of the third level of this vault to make all the future Vault Dwellers more secure in the knowledge that in the event of even a major earthquake, the regulatory computers of the vault would continue to function. <laughs> Good joke. Recent tours of the newly constructed vault have had many a potential vault dweller walking away with a newfound all the improvements done to this already impressive vault. So, Vault 12 is located somewhere southeast of Vault 13. Obviously, Vault 13 and Vault 15. Excuse me, god damn it. Shouldn't have had that brownie, even though it was so delicious. <laughs> Uh, don't need to look at the overseer breathing again. It glitch out anyway. You guys already got to see it. Uh, we're looking for Vault 12. Although we haven't really seen something marked on our map, Vault name Vault 12. We do know where that is in relation to Vault 13. Very handy information, that. Now, let's see. Uh, I'm really damn close to a level up. I'm really damn close. Uh, I wonder... What kind of goodies do these guard people have? Cover me, Tycho. I'm going in. Don't suppose I'd be able to steal the combat armor right off of them? Nah, it's not worth it getting in trouble for that right now. I want to have stronger equipment before I do that. What we will do, though, is have a talk here with Erwin. Oh boy, can't you leave me alone? I have enough problems on my hands already. Uh, problems? Maybe I can help you. This is a tragedy, believe me. Nothing is the way it used to be. I have a small farm outside town, and a few days ago a bunch of raiders appeared out of nowhere and now use my home as their camp. They killed Pugsley, my donkey, and threatened to kill me if I ever dare to come back. Just tell me where, and I'll take care of the rest. Really? You would do that? You know, I don't do dare to go there anymore. Why don't you come back and let me know when it is safe to come back home and go back home again? Okay. You feel very nauseous. Oh, god damn it. You know what? Fine. You lost two current radiation level. Are you happy now? There. 
I did it. It's gone. Okay? No longer radiated. Everything is better. <laughs> Are you fucking happy now, game? <laughs> did I sell my shotgun? I certainly did sell my shotgun. I don't suppose you have another shotgun laying around, do you, Tygo? I'm not surprised that I sold my shotgun. And it's not a big deal that I sold my shotgun. I would rather uh, use my hunting rifle anyway. As a matter of fact, Tygo, you don't need that shotgun. You just need to stick to staying with a hunting rifle. That is your best weapon. Uh, and Ian, I really don't want you to use burst bullshit ever on my face again. So what I'm going to have you do is draw your best weapon. Unless you actually do think that's your best weapon, Ian. Don't you start fucking moving on me. I guess he'll draw it uh, once we get into a combat situation. I do think I will be taking that away, though. I'd rather have him use a Desert Eagle, and we'll just sell all of this uh, small, small time ammunition. I suppose I could use it as a secondary weapon. I do want Tycho to just use that hunting rifle. I would like to get him a sniper rifle in the future. That'll be fine, and I'll use these two weapons. Sure, why not? Well, I meant to load that with a bit more. Okay, let's party, guys. We got a lot of shit to kill. A lot. Not a lot, a lot. But a lot. Any guys out here that I need to kill first? It's been a little bit since I uh, played this, obviously. Considering the fact that I fucking forgot where this dude was, it's understandable that I forgot. Let's run around back here. I'm sure none of them will ever care. I did think the place was a bit bigger. I thought we would have to kill more. Well, mistakes were made. I can't remember everything. And it is daytime. There is that going for us. You better fucking believe I will, uh... Oh, I guess I shouldn't have started combat right there. Now, I was hoping the door would open all the way. I guess if everyone wants to file inside, that's cool. We're, we're not even going to talk with these guys. When we, I'm sure we could, but let, let's go ahead and get the party started. There we go. I got two hits. That's good, right? And we will go ahead and step to... Right there, that's a good spot. We're a little bit clustered here. But, uh, my party should be able to handle this fine. I hope we do have Tycho and Ian and dog meat. I did forget about the fact that these guys are going to have to reload their weapons, though, so they'll have fewer action points to go around. What do you think I am, a punching bag? As a matter of fact, I do. God damn it, Ian! Jesus fucking Christ. Swear to God, guys, I might kill Ian myself. Fucking useless! <laughs> Fucking useless. <sighs> you know what? I don't even have the time for your bullshit right now, bro. What's your health at? 12 out of 30? There we go. Have a nice day. Fucking thank you and good night. What are we looking at here? 30 out of 30, 30 out of 30, 6 out of 30. <laughs> I only had a 32% chance of hitting him. Abandon all hope. Ow! My face! Why is your gun so loud? You need to quit that shit! Can't touch me. No, dog me! Prove him wrong! Did you hear someone call my name? <laughs> it's like, fuck this shit! I'm out! Alright, Mr. Man with Loud Gun. I'll get to you in a... I'll get to you in a skinny minute here. I guess I'll get to you now. That wasn't very nice. It wasn't intended to be, asshole. Didn't kill you? God damn it. 
<laughs> it's making him run, though. Hey, don't you fucking punch my dog. Tycho used the stim pack. There you go, dog meat. There you go, dog meat. You're not a punching bag. You're a dead man. Had to briefly mute my microphone there. Help! <laughs> Help! I'm being oppressed. Help! Help! No! Lady with a knife! Get her, guys! Dog meat, save me! Don't let her win! There you go, dog meat. Alright, that's one down. Hello, lady! Are you ready for Grimmiv? You are! Fantastic. Do you like the smell of adventure? Of course you do. Do you want a man who smells like a cake? Of course you do. Hooray! Defeated all of our enemies, guys. We did a good job. And I already reloaded that. God damn it. Alright, let's go ahead and loot all their corpses now. Each and every single one has the goods. I was trying to press the enter button to quickly scroll through that, and that did not happen. Spiked knuckles. We want those too. What do we have here? Just seven bottle caps. Woohoo. Spring break. Uh, I didn't loot this body, did I? I did not. I want all of that. Plus this. I guess I can give Tycho a shotgun again now. Glad we had that moment together, guys. I do want them to only have one weapon. I, I don't like it whenever they fucking swap out weapons and fucking Ian gets a fucking... Ooh, ooh. A great idea that he can uh, just fucking pull out his damn knife and everything will be okay. Because it won't be. Griffith doesn't tolerate that shit. Pisses him off. Ooh, and there's some deagle ammo I can give to Ian... Yay, the armor-piercing ammo is not completely useless. It just doesn't do its job as advertised. Figured I would make that clear. And if you don't do your job as advertised, it is like you're useless anyway, right, guys? Right. Two stin packs. Very useful. What do we have here? We have some ammo and two more stim packs. It looks like we have a stim pack down there. I most certainly want that. I'm at 4458. It takes me up to 57 out of 58. Let me take a look at dog mean. How are you looking, dog? I said, how are you looking? 45 out of 50? Oh yeah, you're fine. Might be something else up here that I'm missing, but I don't care. Hear this, and uh, we're level six, so we get another perk, guys. Woohoo! I'll show you all of them. We have bonus hand-to-hand -hand attacks, bonus hand-to-hand -hand damage, bonus move. Really like that one. Uh, you do get uh, extra action points in excess of ten. There's just only ten green circles. Uh, two free action points to move, in addition to the ones you have for shooting and reloading. Very damn useful. Or if you need twelve action points to fucking run away from baddies, then there you go. There's those. Earlier sequence, eh, educated is something dumb that I used to pick too. Back when I was a kid and I didn't know any better. Empathy is very handy. Uh, if you uh, are just getting into the game for the first time and you're not quite sure uh, what dialogue choices will end up bringing you. You have studied other human beings, giving you the inside knowledge of their emotional reaction to you. You will see the reaction level of the person you are talking to when involved in an in-depth conversation. Faster healing, friendly foe, your uh, your allies actually get a, a green highlight so you don't accidentally shoot them. Heave ho, pfft, night vision, quick pockets, rad resistance, ranger, random, uh, the chance of encountering a hostile encounter on the map is lowered. 
There's Scout. Sharpshooter. My perception's fucking awesome the way it is. Move talk or bah. Snake Eater. Strong Back. And Swift Learner. Normally, I would pick Bonus Move, but I think because I am playing this on uh, my YouTube channel, I'll actually pick Empathy for you guys. Okay? Okay. Like, this is just really hot stuff. It could just be being nice for you guys. There we go. So, it, it helps, you know, I'm compensating for my lack of, you know, innate charm by increasing my speed skill and empathy. So, what do I need to increase? Uh, I'm not going to increase speed skill anymore. That's fucking good for the rest of the game. Steel skill is tempting to, to pick up. I definitely don't... I still don't need to do energy weapons. I think what I am going to do, though, is increase lockpicks. Um, take that up to 29%, and hopefully I'll find a set of lockpicks. Worst case, I'll just fucking go up to the raiders. I got all the damn time in the world, guys. I'll just go up to the raiders. I'll slump them upside the head. But I do want some lockpick skill. That will be of use to... Am I sure? I mean, I can always steal more shit. No. I do have to get through that, and you kind of do need to be able to lockpick in order to get through that. I guess I don't have to go through it, but I do want to show you guys stuff. And I will do it. Alright. We'll go ahead and lock that in, and... We'll go ahead and go the fuck back to the hub. Why does it seem like my volume just went down? I don't know. I do know that I'm back here. Hey, Erwin. So have you been able to teach those raiders a lesson as my home's safe again? It sure is, buddy. Oh, thank you so much. I'm sorry I didn't have any riches to give you, but here. Take this rifle for saving my home. Do you have anything to barter? You do not. All right, I will take that rifle. Thank you very much. I'm glad I could be of assistance, sir. And then I uh, should have taken the karma back up to 14. Woohoo! 14, yeah. So, he gave us a rifle, is that right? He gave us a 223 pistol, a 223 pistol, a 223 rifle modified and cut down to a pistol. This is a one of a kind firearm, obviously made with love and skill. And it packs a serious punch, guys. I, think I actually think that's going to be my secondary weapon. I like that. I do, I do, I do. I forgot uh, the reward that he gave. That's pretty... Actually, you know, I shouldn't, like, fucking have that out right here. <laughs> In retrospect, and I won't give the shotgun to Tycho. I want them to stay with what they have right now. I will go ahead and visit Dude Man up here, though. Dude Man. Dude Man! Do you have any more caps? I like to sell something. I don't suppose you have any more caps, do you? I'm gonna have to go hit up Jacob, huh? Oh no! You do have caps. Sweet. Because I have goodies to sell. Well, this will have to do. Grim if you're dumb. Grimith forgets the maximum 999 caps can only be out of the Imbecile. Sells a transaction. Woohoo! Alright, we're done. I think the next thing that we get to do now is uh <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna stop by the friendly loaning company here. Friendly lending company, excuse me. And I am going to properly arrange my weapons just for this moment. I could wait until daylight. That's a thought. I should probably do that. It'll make shots easier. 
So let's go ahead and uh, read some books. How about that? We're gonna take read this big book of science and learn new science information. We're now gonna read Dean's electronics and learn a lot about repairing broken electronics. Just checking to make sure it's not switching to daylight. Read that and learn about new ways to heal injuries. Scout handbook. Learn a lot about wilderness survival. It's 325. Let's go buy some more books. From the librarian. We, we haven't bought any books from her. Let's make it happen. Make it so, number one. Hello. What do you have in the way of books? She will show us her selection. She's got a lot of books. Big book of science, Dean's electronics. Guns and bullets will help our accuracy with small guns. <laughs> oh my god, gay. <laughs> wow. I mean... Ultimately, I don't need it that damn much. I... <laughs> Oh god. I, I I forget details sometimes, guys. I think it's just a consequence of the fact that I am playing on hard mode and she she's pretty pretty valued on her stuff, guys. She she takes her business very seriously. Super serious. I mean, she is a librarian. Books are kind of a big deal. They're kind of a big deal, guys. Uh, thanks. I'm tempted to try to steal from you, but, uh, that won't be happening right now. I guess we can make things interesting by fighting at night. Sure, why not? Let's make things interesting by fighting at night. You see, Guido. Say so you just use brute force, don't take that much to bust any cap. Give me a break, anyone could. Oh my god. You guys are just gonna have to. <laughs> you guys will just have to read that on your own. Here he is. There's Lorenzo himself. The man, the myth, the legend, Lorenzo. Well, if it isn't a potential customer, I'm Lorenzo the Munificent, at your service. I give out loans, only 10% daily interest, and a maximum of 10 days of repay. You won't find a more generous lending institution anywhere in the hub. Um, as you can see, empathy is paying off here. Saying that will obviously offend Lorenzo the Munificent. How about I came for a loan? Fine. You have no loans outstanding with us. We lend in units of 200 hub bucks with a maximum of 1,000 hub bucks. Remember, though, I'm not going to lend you the big bucks until you've proven you can repay the smaller loans. I'd like 200 hot bucks. Fine, 200 bucks. You've got 10 days to repay it. Do 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 do. It's kind of a given that you have to do this, right? Right? Uh. Hi, so you've come to pay off your loan? I came for another loan. Sorry, pal. Of course. I forgot. Will you give off any information? Suppose. Uh, what about those missing caravans? Deathclaw. It's gotta be the Deathclaw. No one's safe anymore. Tell me about Decker. He's a great guy. Good source of jobs to pay off my loans. Tell him I sent you. You might get a bonus. Bonus? What do you mean? Well, maybe not a bonus. But he's a great guy. Trust me on that one. What about the local police? They're great guys. It's true we have the occasional misunderstanding, but I think they're a credit to their species. Whichever one that is. Misunderstandings? Like what? Can you believe someone accused me of extortion? Fortunately, my good friend Decker set them straight. About the children of the cathedral. I can't say I'm too impressed. I run an honest, respectful business, and they accuse me of being a thief. The nerve of those people. They think a vow of poverty gives them the right to judge me. Vow of poverty? I'll bet their leader, this Morpheus character, he's not broke. No, sir. I bet. I'll bet that over in the boneyard, he's just living it up. Now, tell me about yourself. I'm just a respectable businessman, that's all. We uh, Giovannis have been respectable businessmen since the days before the Holocaust. Now that's tradition. What's your idea of respectable? You don't show us respect, you get hurt. How much more respectability can a man ask for? Where does a person find work around here? You should try Mr. Decker. Exciting work at great prices, the best in town, and he's just across the street. You can't get better convenience than that. What kind of excitement? Adventure. Danger. You can really make a killing. <laughs> we'll meet Decker a bit later.
Lorenzo, though, you made it funny. Well, bye. See you around, pal. Do 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 Well, I should get right next to you. Right next to you. Let's hug you. And we'll uh we'll save this in a just in case for whatever reason the guards decide to come after me, slot. How about that? Do 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 Fifty nine to fifty nine hit points. Street lights providing illumination. Let's reload now. Lorenzo's like, fuck this shit! I'm out! <laughs> Get him, dog meat! Check him! There you go. Well, there's Lorenzo dead, everyone. Now we gotta take care of his friends. Well, apparently Tycho decided that uh, Guido did not... Well, he's not dead. And he's using stem packs! What you... Hey! Oh, Tycho's at one hit point. <laughs> oh, man. If he had killed Tycho, there would have been no coming back. I would have been very upset. And Tycho is obviously using the stem packs I gave him. And punching that guy. <laughs> Kill him, dog meat! Or he uses more valuable stem packs! God damn it, Guido's not dead yet! Yeah, yeah, super cool burst hacks. You don't think I've seen that same song and dance before? Fuck your couch. And. Keep fucking it. And. I've got to hope I don't die. Kill him! Slay him! Kill him too, Ian! Oh, apparently he doesn't want anything to do with this shit. Hey! Hey! I didn't say you could run from me. Oh, you son of a bitch. Don't mind us, guards. We're just, uh... Uh... Uh, friendly business misunderstanding. Wink, wink. Hey, hey, hey. He's like, Gods, save me! <laughs> there you go. Dog meat, he's dead. He's dead, dog meat. Sorry. Sorry, boy. We are gonna s s put our weapon away and we're gonna end combat. For crushing your enemies, you earn 345 experience points. Well, let's go ahead and take all his loot now. And that was the friendly lending company, guys. Wasn't that great fun? Now I could have worked the loans up. It was cheesy enough that I got a loan anyway, right before I killed the guy. Alright. And as you can see, the guards really don't give a damn. And they give a damn about Iguana Bob and riding to his rescue, but Lorenzo, not so much. Even though I started the hostilities in this, whereas Iguana Bob, he started the hostilities and people went after him. Um, poor Lorenzo, he never had a chance. Now that, I'm gonna go ahead and access this desk here. That is a door I'm pretty sure I'm going to need lockpicks to go through. We will worry about that another time. The door is locked, obviously. Seeing as how the game just told me. My lockpick skill's a little too low. Pro tip. A little too low. I was hoping to find a set of lockpicks here in the god in this place. But, uh... Appears that is not going to be happening. Well, I'm glad no one on the team died. Things got a little touch and go there. Let's see, let's uh, check out final hit point readout. Uh, Tycho's got 43 out of 60. Ian's got flawless. And uh, Dogmeat's got do flawless. But Tycho nearly bit the big one there. It's the reason why I give those guys uh, those stim packs. I certainly don't need all of them. 
Uh, for now, we're going to call that a video, guys. Coming back next time on Let's Get On With It Fallout. I might stop by the Fargo Traders and say hi. And maybe we'll uh, we'll talk with Beth there in the weapon shop and say hi to her, too. Or maybe I will... Uh, well, I'll just leave that for next time. How about that? Doodaloo!